Okay, so in this particular video we're going to be looking at the worksheet for GCSE Mathematics on working with indices. Now there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of um, with these, uh, these types of questions um, and that is that they're usually valued at about one or two marks each and sometimes they're fairly straightforward other times they do take a little bit of working out so these types of questions the ones I've got here are going to be fairly straightforward and then there's going to be quite a number of videos in this playlist that you'll be able to have a look at you can also visit the website and download the questions and have a go at them for yourself so the first thing is is 36 to a half well that's exactly the same as saying the square root of 36 and that's actually 6 Okay. The second one is wherever you see a negative indice, it basically means it's the reciprocal. So the way we would write that would be 1 over 3 squared. It's the reciprocal of this number. Okay, so 1 over 3 squared, well that's going to be 1 over 9. Okay, so that answers question one. In this video, I'm going to do question two as well. And then, as I mentioned, there'll be some other examples for you to have a look at in the playlist. So, question two is write down the value of seven to the power of zero. Will any numbers to the power of zero has a value of one? So, if it's 243 to the power of zero, it's still one. Okay, next one is, as I mentioned before, wherever you see a negative number, it means the reciprocal. So, we can write that as one over four. So, the answer of that is, if you like, one to the power of four over one over four to the power of one so that's the same as saying one quarter okay so that's going to end this particular video please do have a look at the playlist and that'll give you some more examples and they will get progressively more uh, tricky as we work through them hope that's helpful look forward to seeing you very soon